says, I love these midwives. Yeah. Yeah. You know what that means? Yeah. 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 So today, we announced uh, $1.9 million of funding for the uh, one-time funding for the midwifery program at UBC and we announced an additional $830,000 of ongoing operating funding. 12% of births last year were actually delivered by midwives and uh, actually most of them were, were uh, a majority of them were born uh, in hospitals but uh, this little one, Selena, was born at home. We chose a midwife because they offer the kind of care that we wanted. Because a typical visit with a midwife is about 45 minutes long, we had lots of time to ask questions. We were well prepared for labour, and after my daughter was born, the home care support that they gave us was absolutely amazing. Because midwives do regular visits, home, home visits postpartum, I was able to get to know my baby in the comfort of my own home. They not only assured that we were all off to a good start, they also connected us to lots of resources, and they helped us to build our confidence as new parents. When you consider that uh, over 6,000 women and families last year availed themselves of uh, midwifery services for uh, childbirth and uh, now there are expanded training opportunities, a, a doubling of the first year class here at UBC and additional dollars to make sure more British Columbians, particularly in rural parts of the province, will have the option of uh, working with a midwife. All good news. This is a pretty significant announcement, as you can imagine, for uh, midwifery in British Columbia, both for the UBC yeah. program and the student intake. It's doubling the student intake. And for us, as uh, the association that represents practicing midwives, uh, it enables us to increase access to midwifery all over British Columbia. It's something we've been fighting for for a long time, and we're very pleased to be making positive steps, positive inroads into growing midwifery in BC.